Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This is Mr. Chow from uh, EnglishTution.org. Now, uh, I think uh, many of my students uh, have their weighted assessment or CA1 coming up, okay, or some of them have already completed the common class test. So, uh, I think this is something that uh, may be on your mind, so I would like to address that. So, I want to make a quick video, uh, hopefully, to give some tips on how to do well for the English uh, weighted assessment. Uh, also known as a uh, common test going forward all right and then these videos uh, is for all levels so hopefully you'll find something useful and uh, let's get started so i'm sure the first question in your mind is uh, what do i revise for uh, the weighted assessment or common test so uh, i think the good news is most students already know what will be tested okay so based on that first of all focus on what has been taught during the term right uh, and, uh, a lot of uh, teachers, right? They may want, they may focus on different uh, sections of the syllabus, right? Some students may be learning paper one, some students may be learning comprehension, all right? And then different schools will have different tests, right? So don't go and cross check with your friends from other schools and ask them, you know, uh, what test, uh, uh, what section, you know, uh, uh, is that going to be tested on? And then you follow their revision, right? Uh, no, right? Just follow uh, your own class. Okay, follow your own teacher, focus on what has been taught during the term, and your teacher will advise you, right, as to what to revise. Right, for those taking national exams, uh, particularly, you know, I'm referring to those who are taking PSLE, N levels, O levels. So by the time you are in primary six, sec uh, four N, right, or sec five or sec four express, you would have been taught, you know, the entire syllabus. All right. So in the final year of your education, it's all about revision. Okay, so focus on revising a specific uh, paper or section depending on what will be tested. Again, if you're unclear, do find out from your teacher. And as part of your revision, do not think that uh, your WA or CAs are unimportant, right? Because uh, a lot of students, especially those taking national exams, right? They feel that you no know, class test, WAs is not going to be factored into my national exam, right? Even the end of year examination, uh, would not matter after I finish my O levels. Some students think like that, right? So they forsake their prelims and only focus on studying right before the O levels or the PSLE, right? And I think uh, this is a mistake because uh, the CA or the common test or the weighted assessment can actually be a part of your revision and you want to use that to your advantage, right? Um, so, for example, they can be taken as part of the revision for your end of year exam because the class test is only one particular segment whereas the end of year exam you will be tested on the full paper right so this is the perfect opportunity for you to focus on just one particular aspect of uh, the paper right so if you feel that you've forgotten you know certain techniques certain approaches uh, certain words or phrases that are commonly used this is the perfect opportunity for you to go back and revise right and uh, refresh your memory okay every time when i teach students uh, sometimes when i bring up uh, certain sections like for example situational writing you know what's the formatting uh, students forget right they forget all the time okay so uh, make use of this opportunity to revise uh, and study hard and try to internalize so that by the time the end of your exam comes right you can still recall the facts right you can still recall some of the knowledge that you're supposed to remember okay uh, so if you are able to press this advantage to uh, when you're revising for the end of your exam you f you find that you have less work to do right you have less stress okay because uh, you have been working hard throughout your entire year you know you've, you've been focusing on your waca and you've used that to your advantage so for those who neglected the waca they find that you no know, they have an uphill battle um to to overcome right so uh these are uh, you know the, the huge amount of work right um will put a lot of stress on them right and then they may not perform as well for the end of your exam so Try to use the WA, uh, the WA okay, and the common test okay, as part of your revision uh, and so as to press the advantage and then uh, when it's time for you to, to take the year-end examination, you find that you have less work to do and that's, that's the 
the benefit of it. Okay, uh, hopefully I can give you some tips, right, on how to do well for the upcoming test as well. Okay, of course. Uh, so these tips are actually quite cliche. Uh, if you have not already done so, you can use this as a checklist. Revise notes for the term. These have been given to you by your teachers uh, over uh, the term, the course of the term. Revise notes given in previous years, so there may be some overlapping in the teaching. So you may have learned uh, about certain techniques in say sec 3, sec 2 and now you are in sec 4 right uh, now is the time to you know just take out the notes organize them you know put them into the appropriate segments right so organizational skills is part of your study skills right and then uh, it can help you to revise for that particular test okay so if you have any tuition like for my students right they have a custom notes that are given to them uh, so again this is the perfect chance for them to revise the tuition notes so you have tuition notes on top of your school notes uh, so that will give you even uh, a better edge okay over uh, all your peers right uh, so there's no excuse for you not to do well for the ca right you have more knowledge more information more tips available at your hands right so these are tools that are at your disposal that you can make use of uh, to help you do better for your class test okay and finally and i find a lot of students they don't do this right so they are not sure what will be tested uh so in the first place how do they even go about doing their revision right if they're not sure what will be tested right so do go back and clarify your doubts with your teacher if you're unsure of what will be tested right you can always uh you know some of you may be shy you can always whatsapp your school teachers you know uh in the in the class chat right in the group so that all your friends okay can uh get the the benefit of the answers from the teachers right okay so what happens if you do not do as well as expected for your wa and your class test i understand that everybody wants to do well right but uh, how should we respond if we don't do well for the class test and it's quite common right we wanted to do well for essay right for example okay and then uh, uh to do well means to get at least gen t 21 right uh, what happens if you end up getting just 18 or even worse right 15 or 16 which is a c grade instead of a b and above grade okay so how should we go about uh, approaching uh, the result now first of all spend time to figure out what went wrong all right so if you expected to get like 18 19 and you felt you have done well enough right and you have given good enough reason for the teacher to award you the marks but you end up getting you know a worse grade 15 upon 30 or 16 upon 30 right so uh what is it that you did not do to meet the teacher's expectations right uh, for you to earn a grade that is lower than what you have expected right so it's your job to go and find out right sometimes the feedback will tell you sometimes uh you may be confused about the feedback right you really didn't know so uh this is the be best time Okay, to either approach your teachers right or you you know for my students they come to me and they show me the paper and i will tell them whether it's a fair score and give them my opinion okay and help them to figure out what went wrong and how and what they can do what are the step actionable steps that they can do to cover this gap okay to make sure that the next time they try out the same exercise they don't go out and do exactly the same thing and then expect a set of different results okay that's what many students do right they never figure out what went wrong from set one set two set three set four they've been doing very similar things okay and then they expect a different result so um that's not going to happen okay uh we need to figure out where are the areas okay uh, for improvements okay and then we try to close that gap so the next time you do it it's going to be something different okay the next time you do it you're going to be something better okay that is how you can expect better results going forward right not doing the same thing over and over again okay now uh of course you already know this waca typically has low weightage for example 10 percent per test right uh, so uh, you can easily catch up later by doing better for the midterms okay and uh, for the end of year examination so don't have to worry too much focus on the learning don't look so much you know don't take it don't take the results too hard don't focus too much on the results you know, say, oh, I didn't do well. I am bad. You, know, you take it personal. You know, I am very lousy at English. I will never then you beat yourself up. All right, just because you got a low grade, 
okay but uh that's not going to help you going forward okay so focus on the learning uh, which is what is going to help you to avoid getting uh, poor results down the road okay so reflect on your own study approach right for example is it due to a lack of revision right some of the tips which i've just mentioned just now right do you revise do you go through the checklist do you revise everything because if you have done nothing to revise right and you end up forgetting to use uh, certain approaches certain techniques you did not respond well to the question you forgot all about the common phrases that has been taught to you before you forgot the sentence structures that you can use you forgot about formal writing informal writing that tons of things that you may have forgotten due to a lack of revision right so whose fault is that ask yourself right and would you want to do the same thing going forward for your midterms how about wa2 common test 2 right so this is the type of reflection that will help you to improve on your own attitude and your own approach to your studies going forward okay so with that we've come to the end of this video hopefully you find you know some useful tips if you do and you want to watch future videos just like this one you know what to do just uh, smash the like button and subscribe smash okay and uh, if you want to uh, you're serious about signing up for english lessons and want to improve your english grades huh, uh, please visit the, the website uh, there will be more details there on englishtuition.org all right and with that we have come to the end of the video uh, thanks for watching and I'll hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.